What's going on everybody? My name is Mike Montgomery and I just bought my first investment property. This 1,400 square foot house was built in 1955 and here in Oklahoma City, I paid $150,000 for it. As you can tell, the brick on the exterior already looks great. It was painted just a year, year and a half ago, but come check it out. It just got done snowing and we definitely need some gutters here on the roof. But I do like the front of this house. I'm gonna keep these big planters. They just need a little bit of grout repair and then we can replant and these will look beautiful. This concrete sidewalk is gonna need to get torn out and I'll pour a new one in place. We'll rent a jackhammer from Home Depot and tear all of this out. I think I'm gonna wrap these beams just so they're a little bit chunkier. I've also got some shutters that I need to replace next to windows. On the list, I'm gonna paint these concrete floors, just freshen them up. And one thing neat that I wanna do is put a privacy wall on that side of the porch. That way in the morning, if you're up here drinking coffee, the neighbors can't see you. But we're gonna go ahead and check out the inside once we give a big thanks to the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace. If you need a website, an online store, or just a custom domain, Squarespace is your one-stop shop, and the best part is, is you need zero website building experience. I'm serious, if you can upload files and drag and drop text blocks, you are well on your way to a custom site. Squarespace's designer templates look great on desktop, tablet, and mobile, no matter where customers find you, and they are packed with tons of great features, like no limits to the number of products that you can sell, using a Squarespace store, Squarespace's Video Studio mobile app that allows you to create high-level professional content for your website and your social media. And do not forget member areas where you can package premium content behind a paywall, charging your members a monthly subscription fee. So to learn more, make sure and follow my link in the description that is squarespace.com slash modern builds where you can build out your entire Squarespace site before entering any of your credit card info. And then when it's time to make your website live, don't forget to use my code MODERNBUILDS for 10% off your first site, store, or domain through Squarespace. All right, let's go check out this house. Welcome to the inside. The first thing you'll notice, there's no foyer, there's no mud room. We're in the living room, but we got big plants. The second thing you'll probably notice is this big header beam. It costs about 1500 bucks to have a wall taken out from here all the way to that wall and get this big double two by 12 beam put in. I am gonna be putting in some sort of a mudroom foyer setup. That way people can come in, drop off their shoes, drop off some of their jackets and clothes in lockers and storage. I think I'll build out some custom cabinets about as far as that wall comes out. Now inside this house, we've probably got six different trim and baseboard. You'll notice as we go through. But one thing that is cool is the windows are relatively new. They are double pane, they slide really nice, they do not need replaced. That though, does. I'm not sure how all the furniture is gonna lay out, but I do know that this will be the TV wall. I'm doing floor to ceiling storage, and this closet right here is gonna go. Just keep it in mind for later in this video. It's just a little utility closet, but once it is a flat wall, like I said, it will still be a lot of storage. And now we'll move this way out of the living room area and into the dining and kitchen space. So already we've gone open concept. Look at how much better it feels. You can imagine a wall being here and the entire kitchen being, well, invisible. And that's what it was. So you guys tell me, this is a pretty good sized kitchen for a 1400 square foot house, but we're gonna make it way better. This wall right here is getting a pantry in this space between the fridge and the wall. Now, one thing that I'm not sure on is whether I want the fridge to face this way or face into the kitchen. And if it is, we can rotate the fridge and then just put a little wall so that you don't really see it and just shallow storage on the outside. Let me know down in the comments because I'm still not sure. One thing I am sure about though is that we are gonna be extending this peninsula out. We've already got all of these base cabinets that look really nice. They're birch on the outside, and our goal is just to extend the peninsula out and replace these countertops so that we get a brand new look. These cabinets are not the oldest, but unfortunately they got this log cabin clear coat that's real shiny on top. So I might strip these down and put a new stain on. I might do a gel stain over the top of this. That way I can put a clear coat and stain at the same time without sanding and stripping these and I might just paint them. I don't know what the best move is. I'll probably end up taking a couple doors off, seeing how easy they are to strip the lacquer off of, and then stain. So this doorway is where you go to get into the garage, and it needs a lot of love. In fact, we're not getting too deep into that. I'll throw in some B-roll shots so you can see what it looks like. But if you come this way, I have what you would call the ugliest, weirdest laid out, 
vintage bathroom you could think of. But honestly, I think the move here is just going to the guts and redoing almost all of it. But let's go down here. We'll check out the hallway that leads us to the main bathroom along with the master and the two spare beds. It's not that I hate beadboard, but it's not my style. So I think we're going to be tearing this down, matching whatever textures on the rest of the walls, and we're painting the whole house. The main bathroom's right here, but since we just got done talking bathrooms, let's check out the master bedroom. First off, this room's dark, but you will notice the original floors. For whatever reason, no one put flooring down here, so I'm hoping the rest of the house matches this and is about this quality so we can sand put a little bit of filler in gaps, and then refinish them. Now this room is not huge, but it at least has a huge window. We've got more trim. In fact, I think there's actually crown molding. And then more trim down here, that's different from the rest of the house. Like I said, there is a buttload of different trim here. We're gonna tear it all out and put stuff that matches down. And in this corner is where that closet was that we talked about when we were checking out the living room. My big plan is to take out all of this space along with the top of this wall and incorporate it into a giant master closet. I've seen some people do Ikea hacks where they take cases and make it look like a big built-in. I think I'm just gonna get lumber and build it myself, but it will look really cool. And that'll really help this feel like a true master, considering it's not the biggest room. The other two bedrooms are kind of mirror images of each other, but they have upsides. On a positive note, we have two windows in each of these smaller bedrooms, and that's really great. In this room, we've got a different flooring and even different trim. This house just keeps evolving. I'm definitely replacing this light fixture, you know, getting the paneling off the wall. Just, you know what it is. It's modern builds. So I don't have to go too crazy explaining it. I'm definitely keeping this though. Love it. This bedroom is super dark. It's got the original hardwoods, and that leads me to believe even more that we might be in luck. We might be able to save these. I don't know how well you can see in here. The paint is very dark, but this room is the one with the mega closet. Check this out. This is one, two, three foot deep closet. I don't know what standard is. I'll put it on the screen right here, but I know that this is larger than that. At the bare minimum, I'm at least gonna put some sliding mirror doors here. That'll help the room feel bigger. This house has a few of these built-in kind of linen cabinets, and these are really common in a lot of older houses. They're super functional. It's a weirdly deep closet. The drawers slide, but not the best. So I'm considering ripping out all of this, but then building out a new one completely custom. Just like the kitchen, the vanity is relatively new. It's got that clear coat that I'm hoping to transform a little bit, but I don't think I'll need to tear this out. I'll just replace the countertops, put in new fixtures, and at most, a new vanity. I know for a fact, I'm gonna be taking out this wall right here. The last thing I need is a second baby medicine cabinet. And while I'm at it, as long as there's no ducting up here, I'm gonna take out this build out so it just feels more open and the light can move. I mean, really, you've got a window right there, but if you're at the sink, you're in a shadow. We're gonna get rid of this beef board as well, that way it matches the rest of the house. But one positive note is that this whole shower insert is in really, really nice shape. I don't think I'm gonna need to do anything but clean it up and maybe replace the toilet. But actually, this is a pretty new toilet too. It's got low flow and high flow flush. If the hardwoods stay, then we'll do a unique flooring in here. But if we replace the hardwoods, there's a really good chance that I'm gonna do continuous floors throughout the whole house. And it's kind of one of those situations where no matter what happens, it's a win-win. If I get to keep the hardwoods, awesome. We'll lay tile in here. But if not, all good. The seamless look will be baller, guaranteed. Now, ultimately, there is a lot to do, but at the same time, it's nowhere compared to what I just got done doing in Joshua Tree, and I've got help. I'm gonna have to call an electrician probably and we'll build out this bar a little bit further. That way stools can go all the way underneath and you've got a true eat-in kitchen. And remember, like I said, I'm extending this out even further to make it even more functional. The windows do provide a lot of light in here and there's a chance that we turn this into a cool French door or at least, you know, one where it's glass all the way. I didn't tell you, but this house is on a little over five acres and it's really, really pretty property. Come check it out. The back deck is large and in charge. So right here, we've got a lot of room for seating. It's gonna be a really cool spot for a sofa, maybe even a fire pit. And then right over here, we've got this raised section where I'm putting a dining table, maybe even a custom pergola. I know for a fact that would look really cool right here. 
So these boards came from a local sawmill and they were installed just a few years ago, but they definitely could use a sand and stain at least. I've heard of that bare deck over paint. I've never used it before, but I might throw that on here just to spruce things up a bit. And I don't think I mentioned it, but this house was painted like two years ago. It's just a light neutral gray. But for now, I'm gonna have you guys get back up here so you can see this backyard that we are working with. Whoever buys, rents, whatever this space and we're done with it is gonna be really happy. I think I mentioned before, this is a little over five acre property and it's got so many nice, huge oak trees. There is a little damage to most of these due to winter weather, but check out how much new growth is on all of them. The last thing of note that I do wanna point out is right over there and it's the workshop. I am so pumped to have a metal building with a concrete floor, electrical, lighting, all ready to go. So that's it. I hope I didn't miss too much, but when it comes to a renovation, there is a lot that we're gonna have to get done. And that means a lot of episodes of this new series I'm calling My First Flip. There's a TV show called My First Flip? Okay, well maybe there is a TV show called My First Flip, and if so, it's called Mike's First Flip. We're naming it on the fly, I guess. I am so grateful that you all are following along on this journey. Six, seven, eight years ago, I was just making little coffee tables and planters, and now I'm renovating houses. I'm serious. We're gonna fast forward in like five or six years when I'm a real estate mogul and you'll be like, I was there on day one. Cause this is day one. We'll see you then, bye.